and welcome back to Mass Effect 2. Yeah. Last Hello. time we were here, we were about to head on into the quarantine zone to find Morden Solus. But we're not doing that right now. Because I remember there's other stuff we can be doing. Unlike in the previous game, there's a bit more, uh, we'll do him, deal with him later. Unlike in the previous game, there's a bit more benefit to going and talking to squad mates after missions. Oh. And especially when you first recruit them. Oh. And since we just recruited them. Yeah, since we just got Garrus. Yeah. Also, I do like this quality of life feature. You don't have to completely go back into the ship to change squad men. Nice. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Let's talk to you first. How is our newest Turian crew member doing? His injuries looked painful. He's a soldier. It'll take a lot more than that to keep him down. There's something about him. I just want to hold him close and whisper, it will be all right. Are you attracted to other species? Well, part of my job is predicting the motives and feelings of humans and aliens. Intimacy brings understanding. And passion is nice but wherever you find it. Character matters, not race or gender. Anything else can matter. In other words, shh, what's the word for doesn't matter? That would basically you have a well, I, am. I always have time for you, Commander. <laughs> I remember correctly that basically is the fine uh, for this. Our methods can be harsh. Whether you're sexually attracted is we look out for uh, related to something the entirely different. Save human hmm. lives. Uh, like They're gender and looks don't matter, but there is some other factor that does. Huh. Most commonly in, hey, in my case, personality. Hmm. It sounds like Cerberus wants to dominate all aliens and put humankind on top. Cerberus looks out for humanity. But that doesn't mean we hate aliens. My sister started a dog shelter, but she loved cats too. I love humanity. I also love Asari, Quarian, Turian, Salarian, Hanar. That isn't in conflict with Cerberus ideals. That's a very positive attitude. What can I say? I'm a people person. Anything else you'd like I to like talk about? It. It's almost like I see myself in huh? <laughs> we'll talk later. Alright, All right, what's our new uh, messages? Ah oh, yes, all the gear that I, for some reason, didn't have earlier that I realized I had to da re download. <laughs> the Kestrel armor. I'm not going to bother reading all these because it's just saying, hey, you got new shit. Yeah, that's, uh, Phalanx heavy stuff. pistol, geth plasma shotgun, because why not have some geth guns? Why not? <laughs> Matic heavy rifle, the blood dragon armor, Ooh, my. incisor sniper, sentry uh, it, interface just, visor. Just curious, is blood dragon armor a reference to Dragon Age? As a matter of fact, it is. I knew it. The recon hood, terminus armor, which arguably is my favorite from uh, Mass Effect Three, and the Ember visor. Whoops, that is the wrong damn button. <laughs> Shut up. I realized there's actually a reason to go down into engineering. Zaid's down there. Right. Don't worry, you know I just finished being bad in Lamorana, so... <clears throat> but I guess it wasn't too bad this time. What's this area of the ship? Normandy's cargo deck. It includes facilities to rearm and repair Normandy's cargo deck. I think I only died like once. <laughs> My last ship didn't need a shuttle. Why do we have one? This ship is nearly twice the mass of the previous Normandy. <coughs> it is more difficult to land a ship on high gravity worlds. And yet it's a lot easier to navigate. Go figure. His eyes got cameras everywhere. Sounds a little hurt. Thinking about past missions. Got a minute. You might learn something. So you knew Archangel from before. 
Interesting. Knew a lot of men taking jobs to kill the son of a bitch. I never saw the point. He and I wanted the same thing. A whole lot of mercs dead. Hell of a sniper, though. And he kept himself alive with all the mercs in Omega after him. That ain't easy. Yeah. Yeah. Red pack helmet. That's a Krogan helmet, in fact. Beauty, isn't yeah. it? Pride that off the Krogan warlord, Kazak. Used to run the blood pack out of Omega about 17 years ago. Interesting. It wasn't even a job. The guy just thought he'd hijack a freighter I was hitchhiking on. Big mistake. <laughs> I goaded Gizak into one on one combat. Thank this one I'll do for free. And killed every blood pack bastard in the room. That was the most beaten Krogan oh, I've ever seen. Nothing after Kept a helmet to remind me of that pained expression. That's an old looking rifle. Indeed. Hey, don't touch. That rifle's older than you are. I call it Jesse. That's my lucky charm. More men have been killed with that gun than died in the Skillian Blitz. The day I laid her to rest was the saddest day of my life. I give up every weapon I own for one more mission with that shitty old rifle. <sighs> I can respect that. Oh yeah, that's a model of the Varicon. Turian frigate, hell of a ship. I led a mission to bring that thing down from the inside with just five men and whatever guns we could bring. No chance of success, but we did it. Everyone died but me. So I made out like a bandit. My first impossible mission as an independent contractor. There's been many since, but nothing so goddamn sweet as watching that Turian warship crash on planet side. Hmm. <clears throat> Garbage compactor. I mean, I'll do at some point, right? Space littering! Yep. Because we're totally not above that, apparently. <laughs> Welcome to humanity. All right. We used to have a chief engineer, if you remember, uh, Chief Engineer Adams. Yeah, he's not here. We've got these two instead. So I see. You came all the way down here to see us. You're speaking uh, for even they got extra things. I'm during the ship, getting to know my crew. I'm Engineer Ken, only handling the power control systems. This is Gabby. That's Engineer Gabriella Daniels, actually. I'm responsible for the propulsion systems. What can we do for you, Commander? Are you set up okay down here? We can't complain. I just wish it didn't take so long to calibrate the FBA arrays. Kenneth, you're complaining. <coughs> what kind of problems are you having? When they upgraded the Normandy design, they got a bit sloppy with the FBA couplings. I won't bore you with the tech, but there's an array of attenuators in the primary power transfer system that channels the field bleed. Kenneth, you're boring the commander with tech. <laughs> in short, if we had T6 FBA couplings installed, it'd save us a lot of maintenance time each day. <laughs> is it bad that uh, she cuts them off and my only thought is, no, 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 continue. <laughs> like, I'm actually curious. Why yeah. is something like that already installed? It's probably just a design oversight. Efficiency isn't affected. It's a maintenance issue. Also, the T6 model can be hard to find. Nash and Stellar Dynamics discontinued them. We could probably find used ones in the Omega markets, but we have no time for shore leave. You know what's funny? Uh, naturally, I know exactly which shop the f you can find them in. You know which one it is? Which one? The cor that Corian kids. <laughs> <laughs> How did you wind up with Cerberus, Ken? Once you were gone, the Alliance brass descended like vultures, tearing apart everything you'd said. I was very public with my defense for you. I didn't hold back. That's an understatement. If Kenneth wasn't such a talented engineer, they'd have court-martialed him for insubordination. But it got me noticed by the elusive man. He made an offer, and here I am. So why did you join, Gabby? Fair enough. Kenneth and I have been partners in crime since we graduated from Tech Academy. When he got the Cerberus offer, I insisted that it include me. He'd fall apart without me. Thanks, Mum. <laughs> also, I love engines, and the Normandy is state of the art. When I got the opportunity to work on her, I had to jump. I mean, 
We've already proven in this conversation alone she kind of reins him in. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think about Because every time like, I'm not going to do this thing when you start doing it. Other than the Normandy team. We know our mission and who's in charge. We're off to kick the collectors right in their daddy bags. That's enough for me. <coughs> There's a phrase you don't hear every day. Yup. Daddy bags. Here we are. Well do, Commander. <coughs> I'm amazed Shepard came down to see us. I told you he would. <laughs> and yes, I could go and get those FBA couplings now, but there's some extra dialogue for um, if you have Tally with the, Tally there once it's once you do. So we're gonna wait till we get her. Yeah, I mean, it's not I've it's, it's not much dialogue, it's, but it's still just a little extra. Like, I've heard a lot of creative names for milkers, so to speak. <laughs> I haven't heard that many greater names for the other works. Hey, Garrus. Shepard. Hello. Need me for something? Have you got a minute? Sure. Just checking the weapon systems. You can never be too careful. I thought Fair I'd enough. seen every weapon in the galaxy in our fight against Saren. Mercenary work showed me otherwise. And now Cerberus rebuilds the Normandy with a few upgrades to boot. I wish we'd joined up with them sooner. We haven't joined Cerberus. They're funding our mission. That's all. Relax, Shepard. Just a figure of speech. I can't exactly doubt your judgment. Not after I got my own squad killed. How do those mercenary gangs take down your team? It was my own damn fault. One of my people betrayed me. Ooh. A Turian named Sidomis. He drew me away just before the mercs attacked my squad. Then he disappeared. Everyone except me is dead because of him. And because I didn't see it coming. I'm not sure I understand. What happened exactly? Sedonis asked for my help on a job. When I got to the meeting point, nobody was there. By the time I got back to our hideout, the mercs had killed all but two of my squad. And they didn't last long. Do you know where Sedonis is now? No. His trail vanishes after he leaves Omega, but I'll keep hunting. I lost my whole team except for Sedonis. One day I'll find him and correct that. Thanks for coming by, Shepard. I've got some things to take care of. Well, I see he has a new vendetta. Yeah. Seems best boy still has some baggage. Yeah. Or rather has some baggage again. Yeah. He has once again gotten himself some more baggage. He should really stop going through the airport. <laughs> Commander, what can I do for you? Anything I should know regarding the Normandy? The crew's working well, and the ship appears to be performing to specifications. Eh, I'll let you work. He doesn't have much to say. Of course, Commander. I mean, I don't want to accident, and I don't want to accidentally romance her. <laughs> her name's not Tally. <clears throat> Obviously, Kelly is the one that you really want to talk to after a lot of things. Oh, wait. No. Fuck. Cancel! Hmm. Can you press escape? Oh, I accidentally hit tab. That's what it was. Oh. It opened the uh, debug console. Yeah. That'll do it! Well, I can change weapons and eat. Is there a armor bench here? No. Ah, well. Screw it. Did you want to I wanted to see about changing my armor, see if any of the pieces appealed to me. Huh. It's fine. Basic suit will do anyway. And we're of course bringing arrows. And yeah, might as well. The two the two new ones. I just remember there was something I wanted to do with Zaid. And now I have an extra assault rifle. That. Different shotguns. I'll take the eviscerator anyway. Take the incisor. A three shot burst sniper rifle. Sure not. Hmm. 
hand cannon. M490 Blackstorm Singularity Projector. Suspect farm. I feel like it's a bad idea to bring that into close quarters, though. Eh, may not be this. I'll leave Zaid with what he's got. Warnings about the slums where Dr. Morton Solis runs the clinic. Anticipate resistance at the transport station. Is that Shepard? Shepard is supposed to be dead. Yeah, he's gonna be something we deal with later after I actually look into how to deal with him. So I remember doing it way back when and getting mixed up what I was supposed to be doing. Okay, then. The right way. Has completed its 20 colony victory cruise. Yes. Council members aboard thanked human alliance soldiers for their efforts in repelling Saren's invasion two years ago. Vorcha everywhere. Walking around in this place makes me sick. People still dying. The strong still exploiting the weak. I think I get here even made a dent. Pretty rough. This is a different section of, of the club. Let's get a drink, shall we? Feeling sorry, Garros. What did you expect? In order to blast this place of stone, you basically have to blast the entire place. <coughs> Seriously. And that would only last like a week. Seriously. Whoops. That was fast. I should have warned you, Shepard. I'm sorry. Ah, oh, I was hoping it'd be Zaid. <laughs> Zaid's line, Darius. Come on, just a little poison. Walk it off, or something like that. What's going on here? You ought to be all right. Just take her easy. Looks like you broke the first rule of Omega. Don't order a drink at Afterlife if you're human. Humans aren't welcome at Afterlife. It's just that one Batarian bartender. He's got a stick up his ass about a bunch of Batarians that died a while back. No one does a thing about it, though. Humans ain't exactly held in high regard around here. That bartender tried to poison me? Tried is the word. As far as I know, you're the first human to survive. Me and my friend Jake went there to celebrate our new shipping business. He got real drunk. And an hour later, he was puking blood. I think I'll go give that bartender a taste of his own medicine. He won't be expecting you. That's for sure. Give that Batari mm. bastard what he deserves. <laughs> All right. Now let's go pay him a visit. Mm -hmm. Incite the crowd. What could possibly go wrong here? What do you think these people oh, will do when they find out you're poisoning your customers? Poisoning what now? This has nothing to do with you. Who's next? Turians? You don't like them either, right? Answer the damn question, Forvan. You want a piece of me? I'll leave your corpse for the port. <laughs> Not taking any chances. Ah, uh, that takes care of that mess. Well, <laughs> we even have a new health team book with them. Yeah, we didn't do it. All we did was call him out for his bullshit. Also, what, what does that tell you what kind of club Afterlife is, where someone could just get shot in the middle of it and nobody bats an eye? Ready to give it all 
I think that's more to do with the entire station. I mean, true. You think there'd be at least one place on it where you could safe, where you where you'd be safe from getting shot shot at random? But nah, nah. I mean, probably the office of the um, what up an Arya stand? Yeah. I mean, I guess. Uh, I mean, you know, unless she decided to shoot. Uh, yeah, shoot unless it, she wants to be shot. But then at least it wouldn't be at random. Nobody gets in or out. It would be a little bit. I'm living there. I'm doing you a favor, lady. If you go in, the guards will cut you down. You can't do this. Everything I own is in that apartment. I told you to get lost, lady. The plague has the whole zone quarantined. Nobody gets in. I'm human, you ass. Humans can't get the plague. Now let me get my stuff out before looters get it. This thing affects every other race out there. We're not taking chances. Nobody gets in until the plague has run its course. So you're saying the slums are completely sealed up? Finally, a human that can hear. Yes, that's exactly what I'm saying. You can't keep me out. I'm gonna lose all my stuff. I'm doing you a favor, human. Anybody in the quarantine zone will be dead from the plague or the gangs in a few weeks. I didn't think Omega had any kind of law enforcement. Who gave the order to quarantine the slums? Fresh off the transport, huh? Arya Tilok calls the shots around here. She's got her little blue hands on every business in this district. And a plague is bad for business. She hired us to keep anyone from entering or leaving the quarantine zone. There's a Solarian named Morden Solis in the slums. I've got to get in there to find him. The doctor? Yeah, a crazy bastard opened a clinic in the district a few months ago. The Blue Suns weren't too happy when he moved in. I hear Morden's trying to deal with the plague. I wish him luck. The area is still locked down. Our orders are to wait until either the plague or the Blue Suns kill everyone. Then go in and clean up. Listen, you're stuck here until this quarantine is over. That could take weeks. What you really need is to get this problem solved right now. That's what I do. Solve problems. Let me in and I'll get this district straightened out. You think you can fix this? Why not? Quarantine is more to keep infected people in anyway. I'll radio ahead, tell them you're coming in. Wait, you're stopping me, but not them? You son of a bitch. You don't have a grenade launcher, lady. Get lost. <laughs> a quarantine zone for a plague that kills Turians. Why don't we ever go anywhere nice? Oh, uh, yeah. I think we should probably leave Garrus out of this one. Yeah, probably. It's safer to stick with a squad who's immune to the plague. It's your call, Shepard. If you need me, I'm not going to let a cough keep me back. I mean, we can still take him and he'll be fine. Let's do the good thing and not bring him into the playing festival. Alright, let's bring Jacob and Miranda, I guess. Ooh, different outfits. And we've already brought the two of them together. Let's bring Miranda and Sayu. Okay. That's an interesting new outfit. Looks good. He's actually wearing armor. Alright. Sure. Nothing else is very sophisticated. Doesn't really matter. No, still no new SMGs. And I'll leave her with the Predator. Sounds good. <laughs> I can't read. <laughs> I think he's dead. Mm -hmm. Stupid mouse keeps jerking around. Don't shoot, they're cleared to come in. So what you're saying is this sign cannot stop me because I can't read. Basically. Good luck in there. Blue suns and Borcher shooting anything that moves. Well, they want to shoot them for now. Hey, 
barely had a chance to react. I think snipers got a bit improved since the first game. Well, yeah. Just, you know, just, just a tiny, whiny bit. Okay. Alright, the uh, hacking phone. Uh, that one. You said you wanted to see the hacking mini game. Yeah, to left. Left, up. Oh. Too late. Oh, yeah. That'll do. Okay, this one picks it No, it's just a pain <laughs> in the butt. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I just wanted to know what it was like. Yeah, there's still the other one. That one, bypass. Uh, it's literally just. It's literally connected dots. Tried to claw his way out. Can't say I wouldn't do the same. You can't, you can't help but feel a little pity. Just don't be. Human. Should have guessed. <laughs> Bad enough you infect us with this plague. Now you lack the decency to even wait until I die before you come to steal my possessions. <laughs> Is there anything I can do for you? Get away from me, human. <laughs> Your kind has done too much already. Your plague did this to me. Your faint pity is the final insult. I need to find Morton Solis. Humans looking for the human sympathizer. <laughs> I hope the Vorture burned Morton and his clinic to the ground. <laughs> I hope you... <laughs> I hope... <laughs> Damn it. Damn you. Hey, stay with me. This won't cure the plague, but it might help a bit. Uh, oh, you... you help me. Why? It's what I do. Not that asshole! I don't know if I can find a cure for this plague, but I'm gonna try. Your words sound... sincere. <laughs> Maybe it's the fever. But as you said... What have I to lose? What do you wish to know? Why are you so convinced humans are behind this outbreak? The plague is too potent to be a naturally occurring virus. Airborne transmission across numerous species, near perfect mortality rate, it had to be created in a lab. And since humans are the only species not affected, there is only one logical conclusion. Aren't the Vorcha immune to the plague? What if they spread the virus so they could take over the district? Vorcha are immune to disease. <coughs> a human-created plague wouldn't affect them. But if the Vorcha created the plague, why wouldn't it affect humans? Uh, besides, 
The Vorcha aren't smart enough to make a virus like this. They're scavengers. <laughs> Sorry, human. <laughs> you may not want to believe it, but all the evidence points to your species. I need to find Morton Solis. He does make he a good point. A clinic on the far side of the district. He's taking in refugees, offering to help those uh. in the plague. I was afraid to go to him before. He is dangerous, but perhaps he can help. What makes Morton worse than dying from the plague? The Blue Sons tried to press him for protection money. He killed them, stunned them with some kind of toxin, then gunned them down. He's not just a doctor. Doctors don't execute people <coughs> and display the bodies as a warning. <laughs> <laughs> when I find Morton, I'll tell him about you. If he has a cure, I'll make sure someone gets it to you. <coughs> Thank you. My time is running short. But at least you have given me a flicker of hope to brighten the darkness of my final hours. I want to die. <coughs> Whatever Morton is, I will risk it if he can reach me. You were talking about Vorcha earlier? Before the quarantine, the Blue Suns controlled this district. But as their numbers fell to the plague, Vorcha moved in. The Blue Suns are fighting to protect their territory. But as the plague spreads, it's only a matter of time until the Vorcha overwhelm them. Hmm. I should go. Goodbye, human. Every little bit of Paragon helps. Yeah. Honestly, I still prefer that over the Mass Effect 1 when I'm in. Oh, absolutely. So this is clearly the entirety of his apartment. Mm-hmm. How shitty is it if your bed, desk, and toilet are all in the same room? Well, I guess that depends on your uh, the justice system, right? Your what? The how shitty it is. <laughs> A lot more smoothly. See what's up here. That's a nice rifle. Yeah. The, the effect of this. I do not have concussive shot yet. I'm sure you win soon enough. It's one of my abilities, and you don't have very many abilities. Yeah. I've been noticing. The leveling systems have been more compact since. Yeah. The 
Not sure if I like or dislike or dislike that. Uh, it's a lot more streamlined, but it's a bit oversimplified. Yeah, exactly. Like, if you look at the, the, the circuit board, you can tell some can only link to certain others. Mm -hmm. I was noticing that it's a nice touch, I think. Oh, thank God, you're human. We saw that door open, we thought those Turians had found us. Ever since this plague started, the Blue Suns have been out to get us. They're killing as many people as the disease. Why are the Blue Suns hunting you? We didn't do anything. Pretty much every non-human in the district wants us dead. They think we caused the plague. Humans aren't getting sick, and that's all the evidence they need. God knows how many of us they've already killed. They should be looking at the Vorcha, not us. Ever since the plague hit, they've been taking over Blue Sun's territory. Tell me more about the Blue Suns. They're a mercenary gang, mostly Turian. Used to run this district. Kept things nice and stable for the most part. As long as you paid your monthly mm. protection fees, everything was cool. Rates were pretty reasonable. For Omega, at least. And this damn plague yeah. hit. Everyone started dying. The Vorta started moving in. The Blue Suns lost control and the whole district turned into a war zone. What else can you tell me about the plague? When did it start? The first cases cropped up about two weeks ago. Nobody paid much attention until it started to spread. Usually takes about a week to kill you, but it spreads fast. Three days after the first outbreak, there were over 50 known cases. That's when everyone noticed humans weren't getting sick. And the quarantine came down and everything went to hell. Any idea how the victims contracted it? Not sure. Probably airborne. Even after the Blue Suns started sealing victims up inside their own apartments, the plague kept spreading. Now they just gun victims down and burn the bodies in the streets. Doesn't seem to be helping, though. People are dying by the dozens. You said the Vorcha moved in just after the plague hit? Right after the district was quarantined. Vorcha are immune to diseases, so they're not getting sick. Not sure where they came from. Never saw many Vorcha around before. Sure seemed like they were ready for this. Only nobody thinks the Vorcha are smart enough to create a virus like this. The Blue Suns need someone else to blame. Like us. You said the Vorcha were taking over Blue Suns territory? Trying to. The Blue Suns don't go down easy. The plague softened them up, but they still have enough firepower to hold some of their turf. The Turians are getting pushed back. The deeper you go into the district, the more Vorcha you'll see. Unless they see you first. I need to find Morton Solis. Oh yeah, him. He's got a clinic on the other side of the district. Heard he's taking in refugees now. Trying to help plague victims. Offering protection from the Suns and the Vorcha. Sure. A doctor with military-grade mechs helping people for free. On Omega, grow up. Sounds like you don't think much of the doctor in his clinic. The Vorcha tried to muscle in. He gunned them down. Just like that. Pop, pop, pop. Didn't even use his mechs. Then the Blue Suns heard he was sheltering humans and they went to burn down the clinic. He killed them too. Then he went inside and got back to work. He's cold. Must be Solarian Special Forces or something. You can't stay trapped in this apartment. If you get to Morton's, you might at least survive until the quarantine ends. Are you nuts? We'd never make it. The streets are crawling with Blue Suns and Vorcha. We don't even have pistols. Besides, I'm not risking my life on a rumor that some Salarian might offer me sanctuary. I know you're scared, but your only hope is to get to Morden's clinic. I'm going to be under fire from the Blue Suns and the Vorcha, so I can't take you with me. But I promise you this. I'll do what I can to leave a safe path for you to follow me. It's risky, but I think it's your only chance. Okay. You're right. We'll never make it if we stay here. We have to try. We'll wait here for a while and give you time to clear the way. Then we'll head for Morden's clinic, if we're lucky. Maybe we'll meet you there. I mean, if one thing's for sure, we're definitely going to be clearing a path. Yep. And I hope they don't mind if I just help myself. <coughs> Holy protection money. <laughs> Quite literally in these days. Listen, bullets ain't cheap. I mean, granted, bullets are just tiny sand-sized grains of a this might be useful. random metal, but uh, eh, it's not important. Really have it. 
just about. That's the problem with the first fire sniper rifle. Yep. But it served its purpose well enough. The thing is, there is a why I normally don't do first fire. There's the Krogan. Wait, you knew there was a Krogan? I mean, Blood Pack is a Krogan and a Fortress, so. Yeah, I just. I guess the next did say Blood Pack, so. I'm running out of that ammo, too. Yeah, that tends to be a bit of an issue. It seems we've crossed into Vorture territory. The Blue Suns have given up a lot of turf. Just what I like to see. Somebody doesn't like the Suns. Oh. Not shit. So that would really explain, wouldn't it? Hmm. I mean... If it was just the Vorture, it wouldn't make sense. But if it's the Blood Park entirely... Well, I mean, e even if it was just a Vorcha, there's still the Plague to contend with. No, I mean, like, it would make sense that they could have made the play. Uh... Hey, hey, back off. We got here first. Hey, what did I say? We found this stuff. It's ours. Ah, oh, forget it. Nothing but junk in here. This place is worse than the last one. What are you doing in this apartment? Did you kill that Turian? What, the guy on the floor? Nah, the plague took care of him. We're just here to take a full accounting of all his worldly possessions. Stealing from the dead. That's pretty low. What's the big deal? It's not like they're gonna miss anything. We're just showing a little... entrepreneurial spirit. The plague doesn't affect humans, so we might as well cash in. Besides, if we don't take this stuff, the Vorcha or Blue Suns will. Better us than them, right? No more looting. Oh, what? You're gonna shoot us? This plague won't last forever. When the Blue Suns come back, they won't like you looting in their territory. Yeah, well, maybe they won't find out. It's not like there's any witnesses alive to tell them. Are some dead Tyrion's trinkets and a handful of credits worth that risk? We just wanted to make a bit of quick cash. But when you put it like that, it doesn't sound like such a good idea. No I shit. found anything valuable yeah. anyway. Yeah, you're probably right. It's not worth it. Do you know a Solarian? I mean, this was this were basically yeah, the slow saying. Got a clinic right around the corner. Take plenty of ammo if you go that way. It's crawling with blue suns and Vorcha. What do you know about the Vorcha? The blue suns used to keep them down, but with all the suns getting sick, the Vorcha are making a push to take over the district. I yeah, don't know who's going to come out on top. We just want to stay the hell out of the way. Smart. Yeah, Tell me this sounds like you know a full of souls. Guy. <laughs> that guy is crazy. He'll patch up a gunshot wound for free, then kick your ass and throw you out when you try to grab a few painkillers. Be honest, man. You kind of had that coming. <laughs> no way he's just a doctor. No doctor puts down a Blue Sun squad like that. 
All I know is if you go to his clinic, don't cause any trouble. The Blue Suns control this district, right? Well, they used to, before the plague wiped half of them out. Seems like it won't be long until the Vulture finish him off. Yeah, I'm kind of sorry to see him go. Blue Suns ran a tight ship, kept the district in line for the most part. Kind of says something about the Suns' reputation, doesn't it? Yeah. Nobody's yeah, praising us. Like they're not pr being praised, but it's more of saying, if we had, a, if we've got to pick a gang to, to own us, we'd rather have the, these guys. Yeah. And they're the good ones taking over. Yeah, which is, let's which face it. Makes me think that the, uh, Makes me think that the Krogan made the plague and then we need just to get going. sent the yeah, watch sure. to the we'll Union. Stay here for a while. Get some rest. Don't worry. You made your point. We ain't gonna steal nothing. Ran, when was the last time you saw a Krogan scientist? I mean... I don't know. Get, get off. I mean, we've seen one. We killed him. <laughs> back at Saren, back, back at Saren's lab on Vermeer. Does mean there could be more though. Indeed, there could be Krogan scientists. I really wish my mouse would stop doing that every time I pick it up. I guess it's a small area for my mouse to move around in. I constantly have to pick it up. Hmm. Moving. Up. Uh, uh. Fuck. You got it. H how to recall squad? <laughs> fuck. Uh, scroll. Damn it. Holster is H. I should have guessed. Form up is C. You bet. On my way. No funny business once you're in the clinic, unless you want to deal with those mechs. I mean, those mechs won't be a problem for me, but okay. Done. More oh, no, hey, ben, right? Go talk to him. We need all the help we can get. Sorry, too busy to stop and chat. You should go find Morton. Oh, convenient weapon locker. Too bad it's not convenient armor locker. Morton saved my life. I owe him everything. Which makes this actually managed to find the submission. Senazine is the catalyst. Bonds to genetic markers. Hard to find. Expensive to mass produce. Why not Heplicor? Too unstable. Inconsistent results. Demazine better option. No, no, no. Demazine toxic to humans. Not an option. Not an option. Meet Morden Solus. Sounds like fun already. Professor Morden Solus. Hmm. Don't recognize you from area. Too well armed to be refugees. No mercenary uniform. Quarantine still in effect. Here for something else. Vorcha. Crew to clean them out. Unlikely. Vorcha a symptom, not a cause. The plague. Investigating possible uses by a weapon. No. No, no. Too many guns. Not enough data equipment. Soldiers. Not scientists. Yes, yes. Hired guns. Maybe. Looking for someone. Yes, yes. But who? Someone important. Valuable. Someone with secrets. Relax, Morton. I'm Commander Shepard. I came here to find you. I'm on a critical mission, and I need your help. Mission? What mission? No, 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 no. Too busy. Clinic understaffed. Plague spreading too fast. Who sent you? If you don't take that second interrupt, he keeps talking and Shepard goes, Do you ever stop for breath? Sorry, sorry. We'll try to slow down. No, no, can't. Not enough time. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. It's a covert and privately funded human group. Related to plague. Doesn't affect humans. Human centric interest. Few human groups would know me. Equipment suggests military origin, not alliance standard. Spectres, not human. Terra firma, too unstable. Only one option. Cerberus sent you. Unexpected. Hmm. You're very well informed. How did a Solarian scientist hear about Cerberus? Crossed paths on occasion. Thought they only worked with humans. Why request Solarian aid? I'm on a mission to shut down the Collectors, and I need your help. Collectors? Interesting. Plague hitting these slums is engineered. Collectors one of few groups with technology to design it. Our goals may be similar. But must stop plague first. Already have a cure. Need to distribute it at Environmental Control Center. Vorcha guarding it. Need to kill them. I'll get in and deal with the Vorcha. That doesn't sound good. Uh, that sounded troubling. 
Borgia have shut down environmental systems. Trying to kill everyone. Need to get power back on before district suffocates. Here, take plague cure. Also, bonus in good faith. Weapon from dead blue sun's marks may come in handy against Borgia. One more thing. Daniel, one of my assistants, went into Borgia territory looking for victims. Hasn't come back. If I see him, I'll do what I can to help. And this he does actually stop to read. <laughs> He's smart. Bright future. Every few sentences. <laughs> I found a Batarian plague victim near the entrance to the neighborhood. Can you send someone to help him? Hmm, risky. Busan's Borch are still battling. District not secure. See what I can do. Have you had any trouble at the clinic? Nothing major. Blue Suns came for humans, made threats, killed them before things escalated. For a doctor, you're awfully calm about taking out a group of mercs. Wasn't always a doctor. Some work with Salarian Special Tasks group. Can handle myself. Advantage of being Salarian. Turians, Krogan, Borcha, all obvious threats. Never see me coming. <laughs> mm -hmm. What can you tell me about this plague? Mm, advanced design. Suspected collectors before you mentioned them. Purpose seems experimental. Destroys respiratory systems with harmful genetic mutations. Makes sense to avoid humans. Unnecessary to force mutation on human genetic structure for sake of variance. Unnecessary mutations? What are you talking about? Possible goal of virus. Testing viable mutation levels in various species. Horrific, but feasible for collectors. Humans known to have diverse genetic background, wider range than other sapient races. Makes sense, as control group. What do you know about the Vortia? Cowardly, opportunistic scavengers. Not tactical or aggressive. Scale of attack unusual for them. Suspected Vortia working for collectors. Distributing plague, collecting data. No proof, but theory fits evidence. Any idea where I can find Daniel? No. Heard infected Batarians trapped behind Vortia lines. Daniel went to help. Warned him not to go. Too dangerous. Patients here need him. Snuck out anyway. Wanted to find him myself. Can't leave the clinic. Have to look after the patients. Let's head for the environmental plant. M6 Carnifex hand cannon. Which is... Oh, we're fighting Peter now. <laughs> which it automatically equipped. Thankfully, there's a weapon locker. Oh, I see that, brother. <laughs> it's good. It would be what I used if I didn't have the, ph the phalanx. Hmm. This is valuable. The phalanx is basically its big brother. <laughs> or one of the, one of its big brothers, I guess you could say. Also, not gonna lie, was tempted to pick the uh, the why can't anything ever be simple option, because it basically sums up the shepherd saying why can't uh, why can I ask for them to help me and they and they just say sure let's go no strings attached. Here, we saw humans looting the apartments of the dead. It made me sick. Well, we just told them to stop. This clinic is a sanctuary. If you're looking for trouble, go somewhere else. Well, thanks, Miranda. Something is gonna figure out. So we should probably have stopped the video at the clinic. Probably. We can switch over after this fight. Yep. We got a little distracted by motor mouth over there. Oh, I should have done. Mm -hmm. Come on, come on, pop up. Or is I? Oh, probably. Okay. Where I tell you to shoot. Oh, hello.
Okay. Room clear. I think. Yeah. Room clear. So. Now that we actually remember to take a break. Take a break. Uh, let's do that. <laughs> <laughs> I could stand to get get a bit more to drink anyway. <laughs> uh, listening to Morton talk makes me tired. <laughs> anyway, that was a fun little trip. Always a pleasure getting to talk to Morton. Mm -hmm. So we'll be back later. Bye. -bye.